Good morning, Paul Georgia from Allendale. It's uh, Friday morning, uh, April 12th, and the uh, grain market's firmer again, led by the nearby contracts. The uh, tight supply of corn and soybeans and is providing the support uh, even after the uh, USDA raised the uh, ending stocks numbers on corn. The trade finally realized that uh, we've got a very tight supply of corn here in the uh, U.S., and uh, traders are jumping back into the bull spreads. And also the delay of planting is uh, causing, I think, some uh, initiation of some bull spreading here because the bottom line is traders want to hold positions where the tightest supplies of uh, grain is, and uh, that's uh, part of that uh, driving force. Yesterday, uh, we've seen uh, the majority of the volume at the Board of Trade uh, come in spreading. Uh, it's estimated that as much as 65% of that volume was uh, was spreading. So uh, expect to see more of that today as we go into the uh, uh, weekend. You've got uh, still very tight supplies of uh, cash grain. Farmer selling is, uh, is very limited. Uh, only on uh, positive or an increase in basis do they uh, move any grain. We're hearing stronger basis again for corn here domestically. Uh, for the Gulf, uh, just uh, non-existent at this point in time, but uh, soybean basis also uh, continues to improve at the processors uh, across, the, uh, across the Midwest. There continues to be uh, rumors that uh, China is uh, has bought uh, some beans for April May delivery out of the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we have not got any confirmation of that yet. We'll be watching here at 8 o'clock this morning to see if uh, USDA announces any sales. But they're looking for uh, soybeans to fill that immediate need uh, because of the uh, slow loading pace out of South America. The uh, uh, wheat market uh, continues to try to assess the freeze damage. Uh, traders, however, are looking at the uh, the moisture that fell across the uh, southern plains as more beneficial than the concern over the uh, freeze loss. So that's a, a battle that's uh, going on. We also had some news yesterday that uh, Brazil's government uh, will reduce their uh, 10% uh, tariff on imports of wheat, uh, which could give uh, a little more support here to the U.S. wheat uh, in the short term. They're going to do that on a million metric tons, and uh, that uh, could give us some uh, some support here. Brazil is the uh, largest uh, wheat importer in the in South America. The other news we got this morning is uh, outside markets. The uh, uh, talk that uh, Cyprus is looking for more capital uh, to meet their uh, their needs in the bailout of their banks. Uh, that has got uh, commodity markets like gold and silver, and uh, as well as uh, energy markets under pressure here today. We've also got uh, some important uh, economic data coming out here in the U.S. at 7:30, just a few minutes from now. Uh, business inventories, PPI, and uh, retail sales. Uh, trade is looking for that to be a bit on the uh, uh, negative side, so uh, we'll see how that uh, turns out here in a few minutes. The uh, livestock market, uh, not much news there. The cash trade, uh, a few more cattle yesterday at 127. Uh, feedlots are holding out for uh, 128, and uh, we'll see if uh, if they get that done here. Uh, today, the big uh, issue is uh, packer margins. They continue to be in the red, and uh, with cutout values down yesterday, they even are more in the red here uh, with uh, calculations today. Choice down 80 cents, select down 158. Uh, pork cutout values have been very stable here this week. Uh, again, yesterday down only three cents. Uh, futures markets are taking its lead in in. Uh, uh, livestock from the uh, financial markets. I think if we uh, get some good uh, sales, some better information here this morning, we could actually see a, a much improvement in the, uh, the livestock trade. Our domestic demand for products still is struggling. We're not getting any help from Mother Nature here for uh, cookouts on the weekend, so uh, we're dealing with those uh, issues in the livestock, and they don't uh, seem to be 
going away here very quickly. But uh, all the more reasons to stay in touch with Allendale's research and Allendale's brokers. If you've got any questions, give us a call at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day, and I will talk to you on Monday morning. Thank you.